Much of the U.S.'s military attention has been focused on Kandahar, the Taliban stronghold in the southwest of the country, but in Kunar province in the northeast, the firefights have been just as fierce. The area's mountainous terrain and proximity to Pakistan have made it a haven for insurgents. A company of infantrymen from the 101st First Brigade have been almost under constant attack since they arrived in May to this furthest north outpost in their battalion. In June alone, they lost seven troops to IEDs and suicide attacks, and two more have been killed in firefights and rocket strikes. Alpha Company has fought back with withering firepower, reportedly killing scores of enemy while avoiding any civilian casualties, but the attacks keep coming. In late August, 2nd Platoon soldiers were preparing to patrol near the town of Asadabad to survey polling sites for the upcoming provincial elections. They were passing a well-known ambush site when they were hit by a coordinated attack from the surrounding cliffs. Initially, Private Justin Greer, age 19, manned the turret-mounted grenade launcher while the convoy took fire in the bottom of the steep valley. Several minutes into the firefight, Greer was shot in the helmet and knocked from the turret. Stay fucking low, man. Sit up. The helmet save you, man. Hey, is he all right? Hang on. Sit up. If you a little bit, you can be all right. Hey, start shooting. It was only after this near catastrophe that we see the convoy's front truck is on fire, and worse, the soldiers have pulled a casualty to the side of the mountain as others frantically begin to work on him. While platoon leaders work to stabilize the patient, others provide cover and communicate with the base on radios. A soldier suffering a concussion leans against a buddy who helps him towards the vehicle. Then a litter carried by four soldiers bears the most seriously wounded, the driver, to the makeshift evacuation vehicle. Hey, watch out. Do your left. Do your left. After the most severely wounded soldiers loaded, we run to the now front vehicle and join the soldiers initially hit in the lead vehicle. God damn. You all good? The fuck was that? A goddamn ID? Fucking Christ, man, that shit was fucking huge. Private John Duran, also in the initial blast, is showing all the symptoms of mild traumatic brain injury. This is his third possible concussion. The soldiers are still reeling physically and confused as to what happened. Fuck you smiling at poor motherfucker. I'm trying to get the damn tourniquet out. I fucking can't see shit. Too fucking smoky. I'm fucking happy to be coughing. I hope I got that turn to get on tight enough. But even in his state, Durant pulled their driver, who lost his right arm to the elbow, from a burning truck. And despite his possible concussion, Townsend, 
put on a tourniquet that might have saved his life. Like once we got hit and like we noticed there was a fire and smoke going up, we all wanted to get out. But we were taking small arms fires so we couldn't go anywhere. Pretty much pinned down. My hands were all numb and shit. And I'm trying to open up the tourniquet. Like, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, froze on there good. You can see, but everything is really blurry. Plus, you know, being dizzy and all the smoke and eyes squinting. Glad I did it right. Shit. The soldier who lost part of his arm has been stabilized and is evacuated to Bagram Air Base. On location at Combat Outpost Mani in Kunar Province, this is James Foley for Global Post.